Hello everybody, good evening or good morning or good afternoon or good night and welcome to the World Monologue Games. You are watching the Global Finals and this is the Sprint category. I am Pete Maliki and I created World Monologue Games. I am also your host for this evening. So we held uh, 27 shows in our regional finals. We had 350 performers from 51 countries take part and the judges and the viewers alike have selected their favorite performers and that's what you're watching right now in the global finals. We have six different categories at the games and we are going to show them all at the globals. That's pretty obvious. Uh, we have the endurance event after this one. Uh, at what's the time? Eight o'clock Sydney time. So it's seven o'clock for those of you not watching from Sydney and not on top of what time it is everywhere in the world. Next week, we also have three of our other categories. So the sprint monologues are for um, 45 to 60 second performances. And you're about to watch the best 15 in this category. If you want to show some love to these performers, then hit the like button. That helps us reach more people. You can hit subscribe as well to subscribe to the channel. We have the rest of the global finals and some pretty cool original content coming out um, pretty soon as well. So we've got some animations and a short film in the immediate future. Um, leave a chat message if you're watching live, leave a comment if you're not watching live. That All of that stuff's great for the algorithm and helping our wonderful performers get seen by more people. As our viewers, you will get to vote for your favorite performers and help select who gets on the podium in this category. We have the bronze, silver and gold winners yet to be determined. But I'm gonna come back on at the end of the show after the performers are done and talk a little bit more about how the voting works. For now, I'm going to hand you over to a pre-recorded message from our incredible global ambassador, Chen Tang, an actor working in Hollywood. He's just been in the movie Milan and he's currently in a TV series called Warrior. Chen's going to say a few words of support and then it's over to the actors. So that's all from me for now. I hope you enjoy World Monologue Games, Global Finals, Sprint. What's up everyone, this is Chen Tang here. You are watching the global finals of the World Monologue Games and you are now watching the Sprint category, the best performers of the 45 to 60 second monologues category. Good luck to all the performers and you enjoy the show. World Monologue Games, World Monologue Games, the World Monologue Games 2021. I had a wife, beautiful like you, who tells me I worry too much, who tells me I ought to smile more, who gambles, gets in deep, the sharks, hey, one day they carve her face. We have no money for surgery. She can't stand the sight of it. I just want her to know that I don't care about the scars. So, I pick up a razor and do this to myself. And you know what? She can't stand the sight of me. She leaves. Now I see the funny side. Now I'm always smiling. <laughs> Don! Father Don! Father Don! A moment of your time, please. Would you just hear what Sister Mary said to all the children? She said, What do you want to be when you grow up? Little Seamus puts up his hand and says, I want to be, I want to be a teacher, just like my da. Sister Mary says, A fine choice. Little Liam puts up his hand and says, I want to be a butcher, just like my dog. Sister Mary says, 
another fine choice. Little Kathleen puts up her hand and says, I want to be a prostitute. Sister Mary says, what? What did you just say? And again, little Kathleen repeats herself and says, I want to be a prostitute. Sister Mary says, well, thank goodness, because I thought you said you want to be a Protestant. Allegra says you're going to U Connecticut in the fall. I am too. <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh, we could even have some missing glasses. That's got to be rough, though. You going to one school and Allegra going to the other? Something like that really takes a toll on the relationship. No matter how strong it is. Well, because... You have separate experiences, and, you know, a lot of girls are going to be interested in you. Like, more than in high school. And that's hard on a relationship. I'll be quiet. You don't think I'm a bad person, do you? I wish I could stay. <laughs> I know this, uh, this wasn't a part of our plan. But, uh, you'll have the kids to keep you busy. <laughs> you know what they're like. I am just so sorry. I will always love you. I just wish I could stay. Come on, mother. Whose womb unmeasurable and infinite breast teems and feeds all. Whose self-same metal of thy proud child, arrogant man, is puffed. Engenders the black toad and adder blue. The gilded newt and eyeless venomed worm. With all the abhorred birth below crisp heaven. Where on Iberians quickening fire doth shine. Yield him who all thy human sons do hate. From forth thy plenteous bosom one poor root. Oh, consider thy fertile and conceptuous womb, that it no more bring out in grateful man, go great with tigers, dragons, wolves, and bears, teemed with new monsters, whom thy upward face after the marvel mansion all above them are presented. Oh, root, ah, oh, ah, oh. Dear thanks. Oh. Click. I was in the thick of it, slipping on spit and cum and ejaculate. Oh, shit. I copped a finger to the bum. Not a thumb, but a finger. But let me tell ya, yum. Cause I felt open, with my ribs stretched wide, getting tickled in places I usually hide. Fuck, what is this? It's this expansion of love, like we're interconnected in a web up above, like our bodies are vessels for one greater being and we're all drawn together just to get back to feeling loved. Fuck. Feeling known. Because we're tired of feeling alone. Don't.
say actuality, he gets mad, don't freeze up, he'll say cat got your tongue and hurl insults. Oh, sir, I'd like to propose an alternative to the acquisition discussed last week. <laughs> well, I, I, I merely meant... What am I doing now? Preparing my adjusted proposal. I propose you let people speak instead of sadistic interruptive mockery. In actuality, you never do. I propose you stop sexually harassing my female colleagues, human beings of equal value, not concubines. I propose you evolve beyond your smirking racist humor and cliched culture jives, asking if I had curry for lunch. And finally, I propose you fire me so that my outburst can be examined under legal and media spotlights in the arbitration process. Huh? Cat got your tongue? How come you ask me if I'm gay? Two weeks ago, nobody even bothered to ask me. Is it because of my new short haircut? <laughs> Does that make any difference? Men with long hair aren't asked if they are gay either, so why is it still so important for women to conform to the norm? I find women with short hair beautiful. And bald women. And women with shoulder length hair. And men with hair down to their butt. And chubby and thin and small and petite and with big boobs and small boobs and narrow lips and full lips and blue, grey, brown, green eyes. Do you think I'm a different person if I love women? Or men? Or even both? È una tortura, mica pietà. Il paradiso è qui dove vive Giulio. Hanno più valore, più onore, più diritto a provarci larve di mosca piuttosto che rometta. Loro possono stringere la mano candida di Giulio e rubare doni dalle sue labbra, che arrossiscono anche nella loro innocenza vergine, credendo di aver fatto chissà che peccato con i loro baci. Ma rometta non può! È cacciata! Non hai un cazzo di veleno, un coltellaccio affilato, nessun modo di uccidermi all'istante, qualsiasi altra cosa che non sia più crudele del mandarmi via. Bandita! Frate, i dannati usano quella parola all'inferno. Come fai ad avere il coraggio, tu che sei un religioso, un confessore, uno che assolve i peccati, come fai a punirmi con la parola bandita? Well, by the time you're 34, most of the physical requirements pretty much go out the window. I mean, you secretly hope he'll be taller than you. But just... Not an asshole would be nice. Someone who enjoys my company. Comes from a good family. You don't think about that when you're younger. Wants kids. Likes kids. Wants kids. Healthy enough to still play with his kids. God, let him earn more than I do. I know that doesn't make sense now, but trust me, it will someday. Otherwise, it's just a recipe for disaster. Hopefully some hair on his head. But even that's not exactly a deal breaker anymore. And a nice smile. A nice smile just might do it. Look, I really don't want to explain myself right now. I I'm sorry, but no. It, it is time for fucking actions and saving my fucking life. And I'm doing it, okay? It is time. I mean, nobody else will save my life, right? Look, man. This isn't a joke. I know you think this is just another fix and I'm fucked and I'm blah, 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 blah. And I'm, I'm really appreciate everything you've done for me, man. 
But I had a fucking life before I got here. And now I'm losing it. I just can't sit here and diddle around. What will I have? Nothing, man. I ate them. That's right. I ate the divorce papers, Charles. I ate them with ketchup and they were good. You probably want me to get serious about our divorce. The thing is, you always called our marriage a joke. So let's use logic here. If A, we never had a serious marriage, then B, we can't have a serious divorce. No, we can't. The whole thing's a farce, Charles. A farce that tastes good with ketchup. I mean, wasn't it last week your dad asked you the reason you walked down the aisle with me and you said, for the exercise. <laughs> That's funny. You're a funny guy, Charles. I'm laughing, not crying. I'm laughing because you're about to give up on a woman who is infinitely lovable. I'm really glad we did this. I'm always glad when we do this. Which is why I wanted to tell you something really. I've been too scared to say it up to now, but I think the time is right, you know? No time like the present. <sighs> My God, I'm really nervous. <sighs> Perhaps if you don't look at me. Okay, that's a bit better. Could you just walk away a little bit? A bit more? Okay. Oh my god, Ellie. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but I'm your idiot, right? Which is why I think our relationship is ready. Oh Christ, just say it, be brave. You have really bad B.O. Yeah. Yeah, it is dry. This heat, this burning, kills everything. But when it rains, when it rains, brother, this whole place, up to the very horizon down there, turns into oh, killing mud. Mud. So when I tell you to gather your shit and get ready, you better gather your shit and get ready. Cause it's gonna be no Christmas, brother. Do it now. Hi, my name's Cynthia. It's my first day on the project. My last job was in marketing, so this is a little bit different, but a game, I love a challenge. Getting to know your games are my favourite. So something I'm proud of is that in my last job, I got employee of the month seven times. <laughs> I know. Don't be intimidated though, I'm actually really nice. My friends would say about me that I am um, clean. I think. And something nobody knows about me is that I see dead bodies all the time out of the corner of my eye before I've looked properly. <laughs> I always think it's a dead body. It never is. I'm, I'm just answering the question. What, what was the last one? Oh yes, something I'm learning at the moment is the French horn. <laughs> so that's me. I am really looking forward to working with you. <laughs>
folks, that was the Sprint Global Finals at World Monologue Games. Short and sharp, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, a couple of shout outs. So shout out to Nyaka Chana, who is watching live. Hello. Uh, Nyaka Chana is our amazing uh, key sponsor who's donating the majority of the cash prizes for the winners this year, which is just fantastically generous. Check out her um, her little music slash comedy video if there is a link in the description of this video to check it out. It is very cool and African in Europe. Um, shout out to Arts Business Academy who are donating most of the rest of the prize money. And if you are interested in getting involved in World Monologue Games, you can. You can sign up now. You can register as an actor for next year or you can sign up as a fan to get our notifications. We're also running a film festival, the World Monologue Film Festival, imaginatively titled. Um, so check that out. If you would like to give a short film a go, then we'd love to see your efforts. Um, we have our endurance show on in 40 minutes. So if you enjoyed this show, stick around. We've got uh, the long pieces now. These were the short ones. Endurance is five to 10 minutes. We also have the remaining global final shows on next weekend, the final three shows. So, alrighty, I am now going to make a change to the... Um, uh, description of this video to publish the the link to the voting form so that is done if you're watching live you're going to have to refresh the page before that's going to work for you if you're watching later it should already be there now voting lines are open for 48 hours uh, you have to pick your two favorite performers it's not first and second preference it's just your top two in no particular order and make sure you vote within 48 hours. Please do not try to vote more than once. We'll simply disqualify you if you do that. And a, a friendly reminder to our performers, do not share the voting link directly. Just share a link to the show to make sure that people come on and watch you and see all of your colleagues. Uh, the We have judges who are uh, watching, some watching live, some watching within the next few hours. And uh, we have the viewer vote and we combine all of the, the points that you get from those to help pick our bronze, silver and gold winners. All right, my friends, thanks for tuning in. Uh, stick around if you'd like to see the endurance show. Give us a like if you enjoyed the show or hit subscribe if you want to catch the rest of the globals and other cool content coming out on this channel. All right, that's all for now. See you later.